Hello, my soccer universe. I'm afraid with this video I'm gonna lose most of my, if not all of my Greek subscribers, but I'm at least not wearing the Turkey jersey that I was wearing for the review video and there's a Greece jersey right up there and I'm actually working on getting another Greece jersey because uh, they have been putting out a really few, a few really nice designs as of late that I am quite interested in. But we're talking about this North Macedonia jersey that I got uh, earlier this year because I wanna have a jersey for every nation present at this year's Euros. So I'm really, I knew I have to get a smaller nation. I was in a way, jersey design wise, I have to say that when it was between Georgia and North Macedonia, North Macedonia wins this one. I, that's very, very, very clear. So I was not too unhappy. On the, and I also, also know that's a team that Austria has already beaten and we play in the same group with them. Uh, so yeah, I knew I needed to get one and I thought this will be rather uh, complicated unless I realize, oh, just check the Federation uh, web, web page whether they have, have a store. Did not work for Moldova so far, but for North Macedonia it worked. They didn't have the home jersey, but they had this away jersey, which I have to say looks awesome. The home jersey, yes, is red and the rays are yellow, which really is nice. But what this does here is that the crest actually comes out a little bit more. So I actually like it. It's also my very first Jaco jersey, a German manufacturer from southwestern Germany, uh, close to Stuttgart. And Jaco uh, is short, I don't know now the exact rivers, but Ja stands for one river, Ko for the other river. Uh, these are the two rivers that actually are in the town where Jaco produces their, jer their jerseys. And in the opening video, I didn't show you that uh, as with most jerseys, Jaco's tags, and I still have the tag on it, it probably will come off relatively soon, uh, is here on the left side inside of the collar. So just for completeness sake. I got this in an XL. I have to say it fits well. I have to also say that the material of this one is rather sturdy. I was surprised that Jaco uh, is that sturdy. Uh, I also know that the latest Jaco jerseys I read you need you sh should consider sizing up. I went to the Stuttgart sto store uh, to check out and they actually say uh, get it a size up. Uh, other design features, typically Jaco, they have the dots here along the sleeves with the logo, uh, which is a very unique pattern. And I have to say, uh, for the longest time, I always thought Jaco is kind of a cheapish brand, but uh, they have been producing quite a few nice jerseys. I mean, the Moldova uh, jerseys are great. This one looks really good. And I think the job they're doing for Stuttgart is also really, really good. So uh, they're coming around. I think for the uh, Asian Cup, they had a few um, templates throw throughout that didn't really interest me. They also did a good job for the, f the few years they were with Lask, the darkest years of Lask. They were with Jaco, so maybe that's why I come, because we had Nike and then we went to Jaco and I thought, yeah, that's a cheap brand. But I actually am uh, reverting on that statement. Uh, as you can see, there's a number 23 on there, which is Nestorovsky uh, with uh, the Northern Macedonian flag. I have no relations to re Nestorovsky vault, vault, vault whatsoever. I initially thought um, I don't get it without any na name number. I thought the name set was only five euros more. Or uh, not even, even that I said, okay, let's go for it. And then I thought, I looked at the last squad list uh, for the playoffs and I looked while players were on there and I was about to get Elmas because I know him from Napoli, uh, but this would be number six and Elmas is a rather short name. And then I said, okay, is there a player in a team that I know, a big uh, name team, that has a much longer name. Well, 23 is a, a number that I don't have yet in my collection. No, Nestorovsky is about as long as it can get. And he plays for Udine, not a regular starter, but then I said, yeah, okay, uh, let's get uh, the most bang from a book. I actually have to say the lettering style is interesting, although the E is a little bit odd, but yeah, it's, it's overall a really nice jersey and I don't even like gray, but gray with this red, that egg, egg actually looks good. The crest, of course, is from the same designer of the island crest and the Israel crest, so very much the same. Uh, I don't know who is selling these, but yeah, okay. It is what it is. Um, what can I say? The other thing I have to say, the store, 
Uh, since my wife is from, from Bulgaria, Mac Macedonia is close to Bulgaria, and I actually went, went there, so I didn't uh, see it first, so there was an English option. I did it all in, Bul in uh, Macedonian, Bulgarian, however you want to say. I don't take part in that debate now. Uh, and I could figure it out. I'm so I I was so proud of myself and that I think <laughs> and then yeah okay I could have done it in, in English as well. But hey, my language skills are up, uh, so I was happy happy about that. <laughs> then of course um, that jersey only by itself would have cost thirty five euros. The problem is shipping was another twenty two of twenty or twenty three. Okay. It was really fast. I think within three days I had this jersey, so that was the positive. But then I had to pick custom structures. Okay, Macedonia, North of Macedonia is not a EU country, so you have to pay. And over and that was well over thirty, and so the whole thing uh, came to around eighty-five euros. It cost me to get this jersey, which is not the amount of money I would like to pay. That was uh, the one of the first two uh, disappointments at the beginning of the year. Uh, getting this jersey, so I paid dearly for it. However, I have to say, I really, really like, I really like this one. It looks good and it will serve me well uh, during, during the Euros. I don't expect Macedonia, Northern Macedonia. I always say Macedonia because they, they had well, well, my wife calls it <laughs> Northern Macedonia. Uh, and you know, Macedonia is also a region in Greece, and that's where the whole conflict comes from. The, and the historic region, the historic Macedonia, is in Greece. So, um, just a little bit on the, on the conflict. Yeah, the whole Wikipedia page on it. And in many ways, uh, how, how to say, it would have been easy to root for Northern Macedonia if they wouldn't be total dicks about uh, getting their country uh, named like they were in Yug Yugoslavia when it was not all the problem uh, with, you know, claiming Philip II and blah, 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 which never was actually in there. So uh, that's my few cents on it. Uh, I, I loved it when Geography Now said this is a country that should never be named. It's seemingly now they say Northern Macedonia, and I hope this settles the, conf the conflict. At least they have a beautiful shirt. I really have to say, I like this one. This is, is a slightly diff different design, but I really like this radiating out because it's very similar to the flag. I think I've said enough about this jersey and about the conflict of all whatsoever. So please, Greek sub subscribers, forgive me. I really needed this for my collection. For I wanted to have a jersey from every team at this year's Euros. And let's see. That's all I want to say to that. In any case, let me know what you think about this jersey and the story, whatever behind it. Uh, please don't leave political comments down there because I think it's unnecessary. Give me a thumbs up if you still enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my uh, channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!